So today, I have a special delivery from 8 Ounce Coffee Supply. Whenever I get a delivery from these guys, I always know there's something good inside. Okay, let's see what it is this time. Oh yeah. the brand new AeroPress. I've been a fan of AeroPress for like years now. And this new one is even more compact than the original version. It comes with its own travel cup, a compact version of the traditional AeroPress coffee brewer. Comes with a coffee scoop and a foldable stir. It's into like this compact case so that it doesn't monopolize a bunch of my suitcase space. I love it. I can't wait to try this. So I love coffee, but there's always a lot to learn. I'm no expert and I'm no professional barista. I'm just a girl who loves to ride bikes. And I've been playing around with pour over coffee for a while now. And I've learned that the kettle actually makes a big difference in how the coffee is brewed because it's really important to have a good consistent flow of water, not too much and not too little going into the pour over support. And it's also really important to create a good circulation of water. So that there's like a nice flow and a nice spin so that the coffee gets extracted. But I've never had a pour over kettle. And now I'm going next level. Check this out. This is from Kinto. This is an awesome spout. I can't wait to give it a try. I kind of feel like I'm never gonna run out of ways to enjoy coffee no matter where I am in the world. And this Hario stick bottle is inspiring me to find even more ways. Check this out. It's just the perfect size for one cup of coffee and it's perfect for travel, especially because it can fit in your pocket. Okay, now they're showing it in this picture in a jeans pocket. But imagine how well this thing would fit in. Come on, take a guess, take a guess. A cycling jersey pocket. This is like the perfect size and it's a thermos. It's kind of cool, there's like a textured grip on the outside so that it's not slippery. You're in the middle of nowhere, it's just this beautiful scenery all around you and you would just love to have an amazing coffee, but well, you can't. So you pull out a caffeinated gel, which I always put in my left pocket so that I don't get them confused with the regular gels, for your caffeine kick in the middle of the ride. It's okay, it's functional, but imagine a good third wave coffee. I'm gonna try this out. I can't wait. There are so many innovative ways to make coffee and 8 ounce coffee supply never ceases to amaze me <laughs> with new possibilities. And I think that this one is taking everything next level. Okay, I've heard of this, but I've never actually got to see it in person. So I was so happy when the Varia kit showed up at my door so that I could finally experience it firsthand. I've been thinking about getting one of these for a while now. Okay, check it out. This is like a mocha pot. Mocha pot is one of the, well, it is the coffee brewing method in Italy. So when I was racing in Italy in 2016, there were no shortage of mocha pots. Those guys didn't really do much aero pressing, but each person traveled with their mocha pot. What you do is you put water in the bottom part here. You fill it up to the valve on the side. You put the, um, this coffee holder, the filter in here. Okay, this goes up here. This screw down here. 
and you put this on the stove top and then the heat from the stove pushes the water up through the filter, up through the coffee, extracts the coffee, and then the coffee comes out of this spout inside. It's a super cool way to make espresso and I can't wait to try it. But that's not the only thing that the Varia does. The Varia also comes with this accessory to make it into a French press. Take out the mocha pot, screw this back on to the pot, and simply put in the French press pieces. So you would put in your coffee in there and the water, hot water, let it brew, let it steep. After a certain amount of time, you press the plunger down and then press the plunger down. Mm -hmm. And then you pour it out and drink your coffee. That's not all. It comes with, the very comes with this pour over support, which fits perfectly into the top of the pot here. It also comes with filters. You'd put the filter in here, let it drip down into the coffee canister, the pitcher here, and then serve it. So the berry it does. The mocha pot coffee, French press style coffee, and pour over. This, if the Varia was a cyclist, it would definitely be an all-arounder. It can sprint, it can climb, it can be a domestique, it can be a leader, it can be a time trialist, it can race on the flat, windy, tough, cobbly sections like the spring classics, or it can like go nimbly up a mountainside with switchbacks. I like this. So not only can the Varia do all of those kind of coffee methods, but it can do all those coffee methods at home. You put on this lid, the coffee stays hot in the insulated container here. We'll spill out the top and you can bring it out to the beach for your friends so you can share with your friends. Okay, the beach, I'm thinking the beach because I'm about to go to California but you could also bring it out to a picnic table at the end of a group ride. You can bring it to your neighbor. You can, I don't know, where else could you bring it? You could bring it to the zoo. You could bring it to your next Tinder date. You could bring it to your kid's birthday party. Oops. Okay, so I'm reading the Varia guide here. <laughs> Good thing too. Who would have thought there are actually more methods than just the mocha pot French press and a pour over. You can also do um, cold brew coffee with Avaria. There are the instructions. And you can also use the Varia as a kettle. So you can put this directly on the stove, obviously, because that's how you would make the mocha pot coffee. But you can use it as a kettle to heat up water if you want to like make some other kind of warm drinks or if you need to boil water for any other reason including just having fun. This thing is so cool. One of the really cool things about getting brand new coffee gear is learning about all of the little intricacies that they have and all of the special nuances that make them so special. So this is a brand new AeroPress that's in travel format and it comes with this travel mug. I can hardly believe that I didn't realize this before. The red lid also serves as a travel cup lid. So, well, when you hop into the team car or get onto the bus or the train or the plane, you can put this on real quick and it won't, your coffee won't spill. Once I got onto this plane, a nice fancy Ryanair flight and I had made myself an amazing salad and I was about to put my bags up into the overhead storage compartment, which are not very large on Ryanair flights and my salad spilled all over the airplane aisle. And obviously you do not want to buy onboard food on a Ryanair flight. And I don't even think that they're available. You can get lottery tickets though. So spilling things and dropping things happens to me on a pretty regular basis. This travel AeroPress lid for the travel mug 
is perfect. People are brilliant. <laughs>